Finally got the CRF 250R put back together and it's running good so far. Um, I had a 175 main jet in it, dropped that down to a 172 and uh, that was kind of an experiment to see why I needed a 48 pilot this year and I'm guessing it was because of the heads or because of the head, the valves. So that one valve just must have been wearing for a while, man. I'm so stupid. I can't believe that I didn't check the valve sooner. So lesson learned for sure. Got to keep up on that valve maintenance. So that was why I had to put a 48 pilot in it this year, I believe. So I put a 45 in it yesterday and a 172 and it's running good. So, all right. So what we're going to do today is I'm actually going to put this big gun ES exhaust from the 2007 250 that I got on my 06. So that's what we're going to do today. So stay tuned. But first, if you guys aren't subscribed to the channel, if you guys like what you see, hit the subscribe button and the alert bell for me. And then come on back and check out what we got going on. And don't forget to smash that like button. That always helps. I really appreciate you guys. So, all right, let's get into it. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start popping plastics off. I'm going to pop the seat off. I'm going to pop the mud guard off. And then I'm going to loosen up the exhaust clamp in the front here that goes to the header. And then I'm going to loosen up both the mounting bolts for each of the mufflers. And then I'm going to pop all that out. And uh, the mud flap will be out of the way, so I'll be able to clear it. And then we'll go ahead and put the new one in. Shouldn't be too hard. And really, the only tools that I'm going to need here is a Phillips screwdriver. Five millimeter, five millimeter socket head bit, 10 millimeter, and a 12 millimeter socket. So I ended up putting a couple spacers in between the subframe and the muffler mounts because I put a 120 tire on there. Okay, so this is the last piece of the puzzle for my exhaust. This is the FMF Mega Bomb header. And uh, I took it up to a shop and had them weld it up and beef it up a little and i know it doesn't look pretty but you know it's all about function at this point it's going to be tucked up under there i mean you're not really even going to notice it so i'm not too worried but yeah that's what's going on now um i got it all cleaned up ready to install uh, i had to when i took everything apart um this had some holes in it and there were cracks where those holes were so i Ended up cleaning it up and then filled in the holes, welded in the holes, and, uh, and reshaped it. Had it, I pounded it back into shape first because it was kind of tweaked. So, but yeah, so that's what I'm getting ready to do. Is I'm going to go ahead and install this.
All right, so after I put the exhaust seal on, I went ahead and spread out the ends of the slip-on exhaust to make sure that that fit over this. So hopefully we're in good shape. It's not one to cooperate very well. So it's on there. It should be enough of a seal. I don't know if this is gonna fit on here properly. if we can angle this down. Oh, there we go. That's looser. Let's get a channel lock to squeeze it to get the nut back on there. Just going to put a couple of spacers in there. one bolt down there and then one there and I put the spacers just to ensure that there's enough room in the back we'll see how that fits with we'll see how that fits with the plastics let's go ahead and get those back on and that's close and that's basically sitting right on there so <laughs> Like I need some type of block in there. Yeah, so I think something about this long would be a good idea to put in there. So I'm going to try this piece of uh, spark boot here. It's just an extra one. So I'm going to cut a piece of this off and then I'm going to wrap it with thermal tape. So I'm just going to drill a tiny little hole in there and then wrap it with some, some metal wire. All right, so that's what I got. Let's put the mud flat back on.
seat back on. That's it. Alright guys, that's it. I just got back from taking that thing for a rip. Oh my gosh, it's so awesome. Between the cam and the exhaust, wow, there's a big difference. And plus it's all freshened up too, so um, yeah, I'm pretty excited. I can't wait to get to the track on that thing. Um, but yeah, that's it for the video. If you guys enjoyed the video, either way, hit the subscribe button and the alert bell. Don't forget to smash the like button. And then obviously you can come on back and check out what we going on. We got going on in our next video. I'm going to be doing some more racing now that my ankle's feeling better. So really excited about that. So, all right, guys, that's it for the video. We'll see you in the next one. Take care. Come on back. God bless.